But that nigga from the tray side When them goons carry ovens by their waistline And the bitch I have a nigga by the wayside Don't protect holes, we protect the baseline If she saved by the bell, then that's baseline Yo, we live, Beast Mode Volume 12 About to have a crazy battle popping off here So, Beast Mode, make some noise Beast Mode! Big shout out to all the sponsors You can see their names at the beginning of the video This is actually a $50 on each side battle So we got a hundred big ones oh, going down That's Ooh. money That's what my dude I'm all right. Introduce yourself. It's pro to the motherfucking venture, and that's it. Work. Dude to my left. Introduce yourself. Stevie to the motherfucking Mussolini, bitch. Hey, hey, Father Styles. What up, motherfucker? Central soldiers in the belt. Let's get it. Yo, you're second round. Motherfucker, here we go. I'll go first. I'll go first. I don't care. No heads or tails. I'll call heads in here. Okay, there you go. That's money, baby. That's heads. That's heads. I'll take that first. Yeah. All right, work. Sixty seconds. Oh. All right. First. Right out body you time <laughs> <laughs> No Okay Yo right out body you That makes me feel like you're my worst opponent yet And so when I say you're fucking shit well I only mean that with pure disrespect You couldn't look me in the eyes like a man cause you only reached my neck and I was thinking provincial you aren't even all city. That name doesn't make any fucking sense. Because if you were a province, you'd fucking be Quebec. <laughs> because you're only speaking French. But then I looked up the word provincial. And this is what it meant. An adjective. Meaning narrow-minded and unsophisticated. And I was like, shit. Right then it occurred to me. I guess the name provincial suits you fucking perfectly. <laughs> battle against me, buddy, this is like your only life headline. So you don't care if you win or lose. You're just happy you're out past your bedtime. <laughs> buddy, you ain't hip-hop, homie. You're lightweight. That's where the skinny doom. You have a Justin Bieber cutout in your living room. I <laughs> run into your house, pissed, drunk, making a lot of noise. Rob your hippie mother just so I can puff a joint. Run into your fucking room, steal your fucking favorite toy, and kick your little sister out the window like I'm going for the extra point. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this last part, I'm gonna say it loud just in case you ain't hearing me. This is battle rap, son. You must be this tall to be taken seriously. <laughs> he said I'm Justin Bieber and I have no hair on my dick and I have to accept it. But then you pause for a second like I was supposed to present it. <laughs> And in your debut, you were always sniffing. It looked like you had the coke addiction. I swore your nose are grown in inches till I was like, whoa, the width is big enough, both holes could fit a six pack of Corona in them. <laughs> and you rap like, yo, I'll use the force choke until I give his ass a sore throat. I bet in Gramps that you've had more coke than Rob Ford has in Fort Gross. Mm. <laughs> so go on, act like you wanna stab some shit. And you easily get mad and piss. But don't worry, all I said was your nose was more fucked than Michael Jackson's did. <laughs> probably say, probably say I've never had a bitch and that I need some fashion tips. Like, I'd have you looking fabulous. <laughs> Yet you rap so shit, it's like you took too many laxatives. Now I bet that he'll be adding in, I'm looking like some fifth grader who'd have no problem doing big favors even if it was for prick strangers. But that's okay, you look like you've lived your life with rich neighbors, grew up to be some clit hater, and your favorite fucking food would probably have to be dick flavored. <laughs> so regardless what you think, I'm a threat, so best not come off or else I'll turn your ass to history. You'll be left rock fossil. Man, I got that type of skill that even vets can't topple. Cause every bar I have connects like an Xbox console. Woo! Oh, All right, buddy. All right, All right, two. Two. Yeah. Seconds. Let's go. Hold on, provincial. You when you rap, you just now. need to slow down and take a set. Cause every time you finish your fucking lines, it sounds like you're out of breath. So here's what it is. You wanna know how I know you're a fag? I heard you have sleepovers with Juvie the Kid and share the same sleeping bag. You're like, <laughs> calling him, hey Juvie, you wanna come over? We can spit raps and skateboard, maybe you smoke crack and play source. And if you're having fun, I'll ask my mom if you can stay more. And if you're hungry, I'll get a pizza that my dad will fucking pay for. <laughs> like, come on now, that's who you trying to kid. You were that good kid in school, on the chess team, always had the best of base, head of fire safety. Always knew the best escape. Most community <laughs> service hours on his resume. Shit, I remember my prom like it was yesterday. You remember your prom because it was yesterday. <laughs> so basically what I'm saying is while I'm waiting for that cell to ring so I can go and re-up, you're waiting for that bell to ring so you can go to recess. <laughs>
And basically what I'm saying is you're not old enough to shave your balls. You're like five foot one and maybe that's a little bit too tall. <laughs> Let's go around uh, three, two, 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 three, two, three, 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 three. You said you remember the prom and you acted all calm. The only reason you remember that shit is because the date was your mom. Oh. oh. And know why it's Central Soldiers he's tight with? It's because he really does like Stitch. He's like, I can't help it. He always turns me on like a light switch. <laughs> I'm talk like, what up, my OG soldier? I got a way we can be closer. Well, Stitch is like, for the fucking eighth time today, no, I don't want to sleep over. <laughs> you like to yell and flail your arms like you're about to have a tantrum. Like, someone quick, please get this bitch a tampon. Every time you make a ham song, I swear you're more uptight than your damn thong. Plus, you thumb so fucked up. Up, it's like you ain't got a leg to stand on. Oh. <laughs> but see, with my flow, I can take your mind to vast dimensions. You start off right, but then you left. It's like you're ambidextrous. <gasps> nah, you start off right, but then you left, like you have bad directions going to some class detention. Seeing the senior teacher and then had to hide a mad direction. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I'm choking. I forgot what I wrote. But anyways, this guy snorts coke or some shit. Make no assumptions. Fuck man, I got so much energy I should just start crumping. <laughs> Someone said do it, but I'm not going to. Live. 60 seconds, let's go, round three. Round three? You're speaking about my girl like that's a fucking bad thing, but your girl's got a pussy lip so big she can grab each side and flap them like bat wings. <laughs> and literally take off. If you eat her pussy, that stench would tear your fucking face off. <laughs> speaking of which, your face is a pedophile's wet dream. <laughs> Uncle comes over, well that's the only time you get cream. I hate the fact that you exist, you faggot piece of shit. And you're proud you beat Jay Blue? Well congratulations, that is harder than getting Zilla's standing ovation. I'm running through the nation. You guys hand me an opponent like this one more time, you are really testing my fucking patience. And I swear to God, if I punch you in the chin, you would wake up and not know what day it is. Poe, I came here to battle, not to fucking babysit. Oh. <laughs> Round 360 seconds, let's go. Versus Reddo, you claim that you were holding that fire, but bro, we know you're a liar. You think a serial killer someone like Tony the Tiger. <laughs> he gets all in a scared state every time he hears him say, they're great! He <laughs> reacts like, you sick fucking bastard, why can't you just spare flakes? And in your style, you just mainly hollow. It's like you're influenced by Lady Gaga. His interest includes talking all your baby mamas, sometimes even raping llamas. And every Sunday, he has marathons of watching Patrick Swayze dramas. So go ahead, act like you're so good and you'll murder me. But personally, I thought your only battle was a burglary. Now I'm gonna set your record straight, cause after this you'll learn the feat. Cause this pussy wouldn't be tight even with some reconstructive surgery. Um. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Mussolini, who could he be? <laughs> no way, you could give me the heebie-jeebies. You can get up in my face and yell a whole bunch, but I don't give a shit, because I will just need you in the cunt. <laughs> I know you have it. You think in your magic, but the only time is when he's overdosing, because he's a crack addict. Oh. And is it a minute yet? <laughs> <laughs> it's a minute now. Beast Mode Volume 12, Crazy Battle. We'll be back with a judge's decision. Make some fucking noise, guys. <laughs> All right, yo, Beast Mode Volume 12, Crazy Fucking Battle. We back. Judge's decision. Tell me what you think. It's your boy Freddy Chopping giving a shout out to SARS, Empire, Cornerstone. You try to stun him for three rounds. You dead. You mocked him for three rounds. You did? I'm gonna give a slight edge, my man, to the right. Mm. Mm. I'm surprised too, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant Network, TFY gang in the building. I had a 2-1 for Mussolini. Yeah, 10. Fifth letter of episodes, Network member. I had a 2-1 for Mussolini. With a tight battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Central yeah. Soldiers. Great battle, two rounds, Mussolini. Fucking up. Here it is. Right now, Soldiers, just wait for the villains mixtape, baby. Yeah! yeah. Hey, 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 hey